Okay. So let's. Okay, have a good clay. And he's coming back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the um, like like let's look at your struggle here and the land you got <sighs> and how exciting it was. Yeah. Yeah, when I was told uh, I will work here at Mtuba Tuba and I was told uh, I will come and work with, uh, with the Rastafaras inside here yeah. and they told us uh, it's Manukela and they said, wow, it's near St. Lucia and uh, I was happy but when I came here inside here, I said, yeah, because the first thing I wanted to see is the butterfly dome and then okay. I came here and I saw it. Yeah. It was because it was it was in summer and then the butterflies were there they were inside the dome and there were a little bit many and I said I was supposed to take the visitors. Okay, yeah, you could take the visitors, yeah. And I said, Wow. Mm. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good place. But when the time goes on I saw uh, changes going on and I said no the butterfly dome doesn't do its work. Uh, uh, like w when like when I came here yeah. and then uh, it went down 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 a little bit down a little bit down a little bit yeah yeah now it's not a, a happy place mm -hmm. for me now because yeah. uh, if I, I if I I look around here I can see things going slowly lacking yeah. things going slowly lacking yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like, what are some of the things uh, you see that uh, need correction or which you don't like? Uh, especially, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first problem is water, mm -hmm. and the second inside, yeah, it's the dome. Okay. Uh, the dome is lacking now because uh, it's winter. Yeah. Uh, most oh. of the butterflies okay. uh, in winter yeah. are can't able to to survive winter yeah. and uh, and uh, the other thing that I can see that is lacking they only sticking at the dome they have they have to have something around here that will attract uh, attract uh, visitors mm -hmm. so so that they don't depend on the dome only yeah. What about the relations between the managers and the employees? Uh, you must have at least had some conversations with Busi. Yeah, I can say it's uh, not that good yeah. because uh, if uh, some of the times there are places where we are told not to go to, like when, where, uh, like uh, at the stage. Okay. Yeah. Where uh, your office is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Uh, if you if you take a look when uh, our manager is not here there are places that we are not not allowed to go to when our manager is here and then all that goes down and then it starts again going there but if he is not here they would say we mustn't go there who who says uh jaman Lam. oh mr Lambo. yeah Oh, he comes and tells you, he doesn't tell your manager to tell you. Yeah, he doesn't tell our manager. When our manager is here, he doesn't talk to him. And then if we tell our manager, our manager goes to him and say, uh, you told uh, my employees that they mustn't, they mustn't use this area. Uh, for what reason? And he said, no, I was joking. But on us, he wasn't joking. Okay, and that's uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what about the relations between the managers? How do you see the relations between the owners of Manukela? Uh, the rough, the, the rasters. Yeah. I, I, I think it's not good. Yeah. Because you can't run a business, uh, but uh, you, like you don't have a, a a good idea of that business. Yeah. Because. Uh, some of the Jama of the Rastas sit together because they are three. The one is a hard worker and the other ones, the other two are they are not hard workers. Yeah. They just go and sit down, eat if they have to eat, uh, go and fetch that uh, two butterflies and come with it. 
Yeah, it's like they, they not it's like they don't sit down and discuss what are we going to do this month, what are we going to do that month. Yeah. So it's like they don't have a monthly project, a monthly schedule. Yeah. Of, uh, and uh, and yeah. So how does that relate now like to a garden? Would a garden function well if they don't have a monthly schedule like that? Uh, like in a farm, you take the example of a farm, look, you have a farm every month. Uh, I can say it could uh, bring a, a load shade uh, on, the, on the table because okay. uh, uh, the way they are doing their business, uh, I'm telling you, in five years coming, this place will close if they are carrying on doing that like this. Because yeah. in the like, let me put it in the garden because I am good in the garden. Okay. Uh, if you are a farmer, all the time you have to check and double check what was what was going on on that day, what was going on on that month, yeah. and and prepare for the following months. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, tell us more about your person, your, the land you got here, mom, the story, how it came about, and about the topo, yeah. your plants there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, first, tell us where you grew up. Oh, uh, firstly, I grew up uh, in Durban in a township called Umlazi. Okay. And then um, there, my father got a job and then bought a house uh, and then uh, we were, I moved uh, to my auntie at Mashu uh, another township that is close to Mlazi at Mlashu and then I stayed there uh, and then after that I played soccer and then after playing soccer uh, I got a chance and I went to play uh, for Orlando Pirates uh, and that's 15. Oh, you play for Orlando Pir Pirates under 15? Yeah. Does Vusi know that? Yeah, he knows. <laughs> uh, and then there, I went there and I played, I played, I played, uh, I think uh, two years uh, playing there. And uh, 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 we had uh, little problems there because mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are guys that were older than us. Okay. Uh, and they used uh, 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 forged uh, identities oh, okay. and then we had to to move back to our home yeah and then I moved back to back to Mlazi and then it's there I carry on studying and I uh, passed my grade 12 at a, a school called Sisho Sonke okay, at Mlazi at AA section okay. and then uh, uh, I worked for a uh, a company called uh, PT Alums. Okay. It's uh, for I uh, did my security uh, certificates there, okay. and then I started there working. I worked there uh, one year, yeah. and then uh, I, I got this uh, opportunity. I was phoned by Judy, okay. uh, a lady from uh, Peter Marisbeck. Uh, that uh, is the founder of Future Farmers okay. and then he, he phoned me because I placed a, a, a job opportunity on her and he said no my boy you can't work in a, a big farm because you are still young because okay. I know that uh, you love uh, planting and I said yeah I love planting and doing veggies yeah. and then uh,